So a few videos ago, I made a video about 10 dogs and a guy who did some extremely harmful acts that made my stomach turn. But what makes this even more bizarre is that I found an even worse video that's actually with humans in a way, and it's extremely inhumane and illegal. What's up everybody, I'm Omarx and today we're talking about a video called Daisy's Destruction. Now, I do have a cat named Daisy and she does do some crazy destruction, but this one is not in particular the one I'm talking about. This one is not for the weak-minded. So this dude's about a guy named Peter Scully and he had a 19-year-old girlfriend named uh, Lizelle Magaro and he pretty much basically had three girls that were kidnapped with his girlfriend. They both got involved in nasty acts and everything. And what happens is that uh, they kidnapped two teenagers and one toddler, which is absolutely gross just to even say that. But yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really weird because in the whole video uh, that uh, the guy basically does some harmful acts with his girlfriend in the video recorded just to basically make some money on the deep dark web. The website was called No Fun Limits. It's basically a dark web website and obviously it's probably not around anymore. I tried looking it up like on Google to see if it got taken down and there was no information about it as of today of this video. And if somehow it does come back up, bro, I lose all faith in it. Not gonna lie guys, people out here be sus as hell. <laughs> But in all seriousness, this film features some pretty bizarre crimes like CP, abuse, and unconsensual sex. And just everything you can kind of think of, like, at the top of your head in the worst case scenario. Kind of wrapped around in a one video. And it wasn't even just one video, actually. The whole video series has like three to four parts, which is absolutely insane. And there's one example I read about was that the one of the women, I think the child was hanging upside down and beaten with the stick. Some body parts and stuff were like cut in a way and kind of done some, poured some wax on them and everything. Just a bunch of disgusting acts. And the teenagers are also beaten, forced upon and everything too. And apparently you can hear them cry and stuff. And for this one, I have, like I said, I have morals and limits just like any other human being. Because I've seen some stuff and stuff like this, man. Obviously, it's illegal as crap to view for one. So, yeah, I kind of, this is kind of pushing some boundaries and limits for me. And what makes this extremely upsetting, too, is that just even talking about this as a potential real possibility that's happened many years ago that goes on in the real world that society does not talk about often is absolutely just, oh, man, it's just super upsetting and absurd. But at the same time, it's fucking part of reality, man, and it sucks balls. Now, keep in mind that this guy, Peter Scully, actually has a huge reputation of doing some harmful acts to many kids, especially minors, and it's absolutely gross, too. And there's a lot of backstory about this dude that goes on way particular even like up to like 10 to 15 and maybe 20 years ago obviously Peter was this a very sick individual with a horrible imagination and unfortunately made that a reality and what's really crazy too is it's like how do you even get someone else to manipulate to even do some of these nasty acts to do this dirty work for someone especially if it's your own work but you can't even do your own fucking deed most of the time because his girlfriend was 19 when he was like about his early 50s because this takes place in the Philippines of like 2011, 2012 I believe. And yeah, the video's been around for about 10 years, but to this day, it's super infamous and I'm, I'm talked about a lot on the internet. And I'm actually very surprised that it's still relevant to this day. Even though he may be born from Australia, I think we can all agree that this makes the Philippines look extremely bad, even though it hasn't happened super, like it hasn't happened recently anymore, that, yeah, stuff like this just makes other countries and stuff can look really terrible, and it's not, honestly, not a good look, and man, I just kind of makes you feel bad a little bit. Peter, in many shape, ways, and forms, would get his girlfriend and himself, and then he would tell, tell his victims that meant most likely that he would just go and take good care of them, bring them in and kind of show them a good time and stuff. But at the same time, uh, they lived in a very poor rural area and stuff. So all these people back out in the Philippines are wanting a better lifestyle. So with that horrible manipulation tactics and everything, and the girl, young girl kind of showing as a, like a potential, like a customer to show that, Hey, this is all okay. That that's how he would bring them in and then do these harmful, terrible stuff to now, his motives were exactly just for his six pleasures and desires. His motives also were to make a lot of money. And it wasn't just like a couple hundred bucks. It was actually thousands and thousands of dollars sold on the deep dark web, pretty much the No Fun Limits website. That was like a good example. And there's probably many more that none of us probably even fucking knows. But yeah, and then not, it's just, you just can't imagine it. I know humanity has been bad for quite some time now, but this is just on a whole nother, like, this is just like absolutely just fucked. <laughs> 
Now, thankfully, Peter was eventually caught, but it took so many damn fucking victims, bro. Like, literally had over 75 victims and two dead just to finally get caught and charged. And obviously, he was charged for abuse, murdering, and obviously, unconsensual sex, and many other subformed serves of crimes that's probably on the internet that most of us probably don't even know. On June 13, 2018, that Peter and his girlfriend, Liz L, both got charged and were sent to prison basically for life. And yeah, it only took about, what, seven or eight years? Like, yeah, that is way too long. It's actually very incredible how stuff like this people get away with for such a long time, they get swept under the rug. Now, there is a little bit of backstory behind Peter, what causes his behaviors and how he kind of managed to kind of go into a downward spiral. So, honestly, what happened was back in his early life, he literally got a... Uh, exploited and abused by his priest at a church at a young age and pretty much messed up his mind and but and obviously it's no excuse to what he did and but yeah it's just his little information backstory and it's messed up because most people would want to get help in that situation and it should be like a thing to get help for if you're not gonna like you know commit on these acts but this guy obviously was very sick in the head and decided to kind of instead of break the cycle he decided to kind of continue it instead at the end of the day, he still committed these crimes and there's nothing he can do to change it. And justice was served that day. And as of recent memory, there's actually an update that happened in November 2022 that Peter's uh, sentence got extended to 129 years, which is life in prison and for just for just recording his crimes and doing his terrible acts on camera and pretty much selling it for money. I guess it finally caught up to him in the long run. Now, if you made it this far into this video, thank you guys so much for watching. Now, I had a lot of fun researching, creating this video. It was very wild and bizarre and actually very out of proportionate and out of the water thing compared to other stuff I've done, except for the one bitch and nine puppies. Like, that one was also crazy too. But yeah, it was really cool just kind of just getting to know about this particular person. Like, he kind of reminds be like Jeffrey Dahmer in like a modern times basically and he's still alive too he's only like 63 years old now he's about as old as my parents which is absolutely gross and nasty to think about if you guys like my content make sure to leave a like if you really enjoy it make sure to slap that subscribe button we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers this year so any of you guys newcomers that enjoy this content yeah make sure to kind of follow and if you guys want to share it to your friends and stuff on social media that'd be kind of cool too okay everybody I'll see you guys in the next video so Toodles.